Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our MathPup treasure hunt game. In case you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games to play, as well as fun games and teaching tools, and there's never any membership or sign-up required. Okay, let's take a look at the game. When you first start, this is the menu you'll see. And uh, let me go ahead and click play because I want to show you something. When you click play, you have the choice of playing uh, the, ver the mode of number order, where you'll get need to get numbers in order. And if I click this, then you'll have to choose between all positive numbers, a combination of positive and negative numbers, or all negative numbers. So this would be the easiest one, and these two are advanced because they involve negative numbers. The counting game, you just count the number of fish on uh, the screen, and I'll show you how all these play in just a minute. Even and odd, factors, prime composite. So back to the main menu, if you, wanna, if you need additional instructions, you can click the instructions button and it tells you how to play. Oop, I actually moved that. Uh, let me get that back on here. Maybe that should be, that's right, okay. Anyways, um, you have the uh, instructions right here. I'm not gonna go over this since we will be going over each individual game um, in just a minute. The video button will take you to this video in case you need to see it again. The more games button will take you to our sister site lofgames.com. LOF stands for lots of fun. Let's go ahead and click the play button. Let's take a look at the order um, mode. Let's just ch choose the easiest one, positive numbers. And now the idea, and you got Math Pup here, he's in scuba gear. The idea is to get the numbers from the lowest number, 1, to the highest number over here, 92. So the way you move, you just click or tap, and MathPup will go to wherever you uh, direction you're clicking or tapping. Let's go ahead and go to 1. And he's got to stay there a while and open up the treasure. And that's correct. Let's go to 7. And I'm going to slow him down a little bit. And let's go ahead and make an error here, and you'll see that what happens. Now, once you get all of them, you'll move it, of course, to the next level. Okay, it told me that I got the uh, incorrect chest, and try again. When you get all of the chests correctly, then you'll move to the next level. And on later levels, in all the games, a shark will show up, and he'll be moving back and forth in here. You need to keep, keep Math Pup away from him, of course. Okay, let's go look at, uh, we've looked at the uh, number order game. Let's go ahead and look at counting. It's a little bit different because what you have to do is count the number of fish. Well, types, I should say. So you've got two of these, and there's a treasure chest with two, which we'll get in a minute. You've got five of these type of fish, and there's that five. But you also need to get the total amount of fish, so seven. So you basically get the number of the chest that has a number of each type of fish and then the total fish. So we can go up here and let's go ahead and get two and now he's opening the chest, math pup is, and let's go ahead and get seven. Open that one. And then last but not least, we have five. And then we get to go to the next level. Now you have the same thing over again, but you've got different amount of fish. So basically on this one, you would count, uh, there's seven of these fish. So we go to this, tre this treasure uh, chest. There's six of these fish. We go here, and seven and six is 13, so we get that one. So that's how you play the, the uh, counting game version. Even odd factors and prime composite are going to play pretty much the same. With factors, you'll need to get the factors of a number. Even odd, you'll need to get the uh, either even or odd, or in the prime composite, you'll need to get prime or composite. And um, I'll go ahead and show you what that is, because the only, only thing that might confuse you is, and I've done this before, is if you go um, like this level will be even, and you'll get all the even numbers, and you'll get the next level, and you may not notice that this would ch change to odd, and sometimes that'll throw you off, but it's not a big deal. 
Okay, so you, we would get all those and uh, all the even numbers, this one, 80, and we leave those two alone. And the level would be complete with the factors. Um, it says get the factors of 8. And we have 8, 4, and 2. And we'll go ahead and get, we'll, we'll complete this level just to show you how it works. But it, it's similar to the uh, other levels. Okay, let's go ahead and get 2. Slow them down a little bit. And I said he for math pup, but actually the uh, dog we have that's modeled after a math pup is a she. So I guess I ought to say she got the treasure chest. Okay, so we got all three of the factors of eight and uh, got a score and an acknowledgement that we got everything correct. And now we've got to get the uh, factors of 15. So let's go ahead and... Uh, get back to the main menu and that's how you play the game um, hope this video has helped some and I hope you have fun playing it and thanks for watching it